The idea of switching to an electric vehicle can be daunting. If you come from a gas-only model, you're in for some changes for sure. Thankfully, the market is filled with great options right now from many automakers, but there's no question that Tesla is high on the shopping list for many consumers. That's because of the excellent charging infrastructure and great driving range. Which Tesla is the most popular from a sales point of view? It's the Model Y, no doubt about it. So if you're shopping for a new Tesla, there's a good chance you're eyeing up that Model Y. Of the three versions being offered, which one should you buy? You can choose between a single motor rear wheel drive model or two versions of the dual motor all wheel drive setup. The entry version utilizes the single motor rear wheel drive, which features an EPA estimated range of 260 miles. The top speed is 135 miles per hour and it will run from zero to 60 in just 6.6 .6 seconds. The starting price of the single motor rear wheel drive Model Y is $45,630, which includes the base vehicle price, the destination fee, and the $250 order fee. You should note, of course, that prices stated here don't include the $7,500 federal tax credit for which these vehicles do qualify. Next, the dual motor all-wheel drive long range Model Y boasts the same 135 mile per hour top speed, but cuts the zero to 60 mile per hour run to just 4.8 seconds. Even better is the range bump, which now sits at an EPA estimated 310 miles. The starting price of this Model Y is $50,630. Finally, the Model Y performance sees a big jump in, well, performance. The top speed is raised to 155 miles per hour, while the zero to 60 time is cut to just three and a half seconds. Range, as expected, takes a hit, but it's still an extremely usable 285 miles. This model also gets 21 inch wheels, upgraded brakes, it's lowered a bit, there's a carbon fiber spoiler out back, and then the brake and go pedal are aluminum alloy. The Model Y performance starts at $54,130. All three models feature the basic autopilot system, which keeps your Model Y moving along safely within its own lane. And all feature the ability to recharge at a quick rate on the Tesla supercharger network. In fact, you can earn back 160 miles of range in as little as 15 minutes. Further, each version of the Model Y is equipped with the 360 degree monitoring system called Sentry Mode. The ability to use your phone as a key via the Tesla mobile app and as much as 76 cubic feet of cargo space split between the front trunk and the rear cargo space once you folded down the rear seats. Stealth gray is the standard color. The other choices of white, blue, black, or red each cost a bit extra. On the base and long range models, you have 19 inch Gemini wheels as standard sitting on all season tires. You can jump to 20 inch induction wheels for two grand, but you do take a slight range hit by doing so. There's a tow hitch available for a thousand bucks, which lets you tow up to 3,500 pounds. And though the base and performance models are only available with room for five inside, you can choose between a five or seven person layout on the long range model. Finally, your last two options are for enhanced autopilot or what Tesla calls full self-driving capability. With enhanced autopilot, the system can navigate, change lanes, park itself, and be summoned from a parking spot. That costs 6,000 bucks extra. For 12 grand, the full self-driving system adds traffic light and stop sign control, and Tesla says it will soon add the auto steer on city street functionality. So which one should you buy? Long range seems to be the best option here. You don't need to go 155 miles per hour, but you do need the best range, which is what this version offers. And if you wanna to upgrade to the seven passenger interior, this is the model that lets you do that. But stay tuned because Tesla is preparing an update to the Model Y. It's called Project Juniper, and I suspect it will arrive in the coming months for the eventual 2025 Model Y.